What's up you guys, it's Levi here. Welcome to the Cybersecurity Education Channel where I teach cybersecurity concepts to help the average person and organization protect themselves from the cybersecurity threats that are out there in the world. So today I'm going to be doing a video that talks about setting strong passwords in 2020. I did a video last year at almost exactly the same time from now. Um, but the difference of last year's video was I was inexperienced. I started this channel back in February of 2019. And so I had only done a few videos and, and let's just face it, it was really bad. It was way too long. I was kind of boring. And for God's sakes, I was wearing a Packers shirt. As you can see here, what was I thinking? If I didn't know any better, I had COVID-19 before it was a thing last year because why was I wearing a Packers shirt? All right, so 2019's over, it's 2020. It means it's time for a new password video for you guys that's hopefully much shorter and 10,000 times better than last year's video. And it's Packers shirt free. So that's automatically gonna make this video so much better. Go Lions! All right, so for those of you that would like to compare it to last year's video, I'll put a card up above and a link down below in the description for you guys to check that out. Um, leave a comment and tell me what you think of this new video that I'm putting out. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, so I stress earlier this year, back in January, in my top five 2020 cybersecurity resolutions video that you can check out in the card up above here that you guys should be setting a strong password for each and every site and application that you guys are using. <laughs> also in that video, I referred back to my 2019 setting strong passwords video and said, hey, I should set, I should create a new video for 2020. Well, the time is now, that video is coming out right now. I also said as another cybersecurity New Year's resolution that you guys should be using a password manager whenever possible. But obviously there's some areas that you cannot use a password manager. For instance, on your work computer when you're trying to log in or on your home computer as you're logging or if you work for an organization that doesn't give you a password manager for your work, you can't use a password manager there, right? So you have to have some system of setting strong passwords when you can't use a password manager, and that's what I'm putting this video out there for. Otherwise, make sure that you're using a password manager whenever possible. All right, so the first and the most important thing for constructing a very, very hard and difficult password is the length of that password. Size matters, especially for password security. The longer the password, the more secure that password is. So here's an example why length matters. All right, so let's take a password that's eight characters long, um, that has complexity, uh, it has special characters, it has a number, it has an uppercase. For instance, this password, and I know my writing's pretty terrible, so I'll spell it out for you. Five, lowercase j, lowercase t, nine, uppercase k, percent, five, uppercase g at the end. Um, so it looks really, really, really complicated, right? Like it's got all of these special characters, it's got everything that can make it a very, very, difficult password. Well, as you can see from grc.com's password analysis tool, um, it only takes about 18.62 hours um, to crack this password. Um, and if you're talking about the federal government trying to crack this password, it only takes 1.12 minutes. So really, it's not very hard. It can be cracked in less than a day, and somebody like the federal government that has huge computing power can crack it in a little bit more than a minute. And I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, but Levi, this looks so difficult. It's got a number, it's got an uppercase letter, it's got special characters. I've always been 
been told that setting these in my password is going to make it extremely complex. At one point in time, this was a very good password, but as computing power has gotten better, basically any eight character password can generally be hacked within a day by most professional crackers. So yeah, if an eight character password is almost worthless nowadays. All right, so then we take a look at an example of a longer password. The password of please smash that like button. And while you're thinking about it, you might as well do it for the YouTube algorithm and don't try using this against any of my accounts because I do not use this password. What do you guys think I am, stupid? Anyway, so this password, it looks super, super simple compared to this password up here, but as you're gonna see here from the GRC uh, cracking calculator, this is much, much more difficult to break into. Remember when I said this password was 29 characters long? Well, actually it's 31. I'm terrible at math. But anyway, as you can see here, um, we go down to the bottom here, offline fast attack scenario. So basically the average person that's trying to hack passwords, 2.09 thousand trillion 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 with a T centuries. And then even if you're talking about the federal government here with the super massive cracking computer, it's going to take 2.09 trillion 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 centuries with a T. So <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm probably going to be dead by then. So that just tells you that this password is exponentially extremely better than this difficult looking password up here and it proves that length matters for passwords all right so the best thing about this password down here is this password down here not only is more secure and way 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 harder to hack but it's much easier to remember this password up here um, you're going to probably forget this if you're not using it all the time. Um, in the organizations that I've worked for, when people use passwords like this, um, if they go on vacation for a couple of weeks and come back, usually they forget it and it has to be reset. Whereas if they use a password like this, um, they're going to remember it, um, especially since everybody should remember to smash that like button, right? All right, so my recommendation is that you're using pass phrases to set your passwords because the length of the password matters. It makes it much more difficult. Don't use special characters and uppercase and numbers and make a difficult password that you can't remember that's short. You're better off to go longer. And I recommend that you're setting your passwords to be at least 15 characters long, um, if not 20 characters long, if you can do that because Length matters so much. Setting long passwords will make it extremely difficult to hack into that password without some knowledge from the hacker that's trying to hack it. Remember, setting strong passwords is all about length, not complexity. Finally, there's a cartoon here from XKCD that really shows how important length and simplicity is. I know there's a lot to digest here, so I'll post it down in a link below, or you can go back and pause it if you wanna take a look at it more, but I think it's a really good example of um, the whole complexity versus simplicity and length um, that you guys could take a look at and understand. So. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Um, and I hope that you guys find this to be way better than last year's version of this video. Like I said before, leave a comment below and tell me what you think of this video. If you haven't already, make sure that you're smashing that like button, hitting the subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so that this content can get promoted up on the YouTube algorithm so more people can see this content and help protect themselves from the cybersecurity threats that are out there in the world. I thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.